hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's ijoma here and today's video we are going to learn how to make this dress but we are starting with the skirt first then we are going to do the top i have drafted the top already but the video is too long i don't want to bore you especially the top part the skirt is not really too long so this is the top pieces after drafting we are going to sew this but first of all let's start with the skirt so for this skirt i want to make it a short skirt but it is still the same thing I am not wearing this dress i'm just doing it for the sake of tutorial just for illustration sake i'm not wearing it so i have this fabric in my office and i decided to use it i think it's about one yard one yard of lace i have my doll face and i have my lining but if you're making this your doll face should be your lining also i don't know if you understand if you use your doll face for the men for your lace you will still use doll face for the lining like you use doll face to turn the skirts at the end of the day so now i'll start by drafting my short skirt the first thing i'm going to do is to take out my half length now the trick here is that if your half length is 17 inches if you're making this type of skirt you should take it up like you should make it like 16 inches or even 15 inches because of the folding that it will have so my half length is 16 inches but i made it 15 then from there i marked from my shoulder to here 27 i marked shoulder to knee that's the full length that is 35 and i went ahead to rule the lines then after connecting the lines i took my hip measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance so my hip the hip that i'm using here is 44 inches so if you divide it by 4 it is 11 plus 2 that will be 13 you will mark then at your waistline you will divide your waist by 4 plus 2 inches seam allowance so the waist is 28 divided by 4 that is 7 plus 2 inches seam allowance then at the knee i divided my hip by four and i marked exactly what i got without adding any extra allowance then i connected from my waist to my hip and from my hip to my knee so had it been a making a long skirt and a line dress you will have to give it the v shape right so now i'll go ahead and cut out after cutting this out i'll use it to cut out my back for my back i'm going to add a zipper allowance to it so you can go ahead and add like 2 inches zipper allowance or 1.5 inch zipper allowance. Then after cutting out the back, we are going to cut what we have here on our lace. That is the main fabric. You are going to cut it on your lace. But if had it been we are making an Ankara, you know that Ankara does not need double lining. So once you cut your Ankara, it, Ankara is not transparent. Once you cut your Ankara, you will cut out a door face for the lining of that Ankara. But now this is lace and lace is transparent. So after cutting this, we will cut out our lace and then we'll cut out an extra lining. That means the lace will have two lining. I hope you understand. So now after cutting this out, I'll just go ahead and add extra lining to it so like i said i'm doing this for illustration sake so i will use normal lining for the main lining of this lace but if you are making this for a client or for yourself door face should be the first lining and door face should be the second lining. so this is our lace and i'll go ahead and cut out now i am not cutting out my lace it is time to cut out another lining like i told you guys i will cut out another lining for it so this is the lining that i'm trying to work with but it is just for illustration right now we'll go ahead and cut this out so if you if you want to give spice this thing up you can use the contrast lining let's say you are making a pink dress you can decide to use another color of lining to do this in order to spice it up in order to 
add a combination to it right so if you buy a pink lace you can use pink for the main lining of that lace but for the one that we show on the overlap you will use another fabric entirely for it so now i am done cutting out my lining the next thing that i'm going to do is to merge my fabric and my lining like i'll go ahead and place my lace on top of the lining right after placing all the pieces i'll go ahead and run a stitch to hold them down then after holding them down with a stitch i will also shape the other lining separately i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to do we are going to do an inseam finishing for this lace so after running a stitch on this lace i will shape the lace separately then for the door face for the inner lining i will shape it def separately because we are trying to do an inseam finishing if you check the waist of that skirt if you check the waist of the skirt you will see that you will not notice any side seam so you will have to do inseam finishing in order to hide your side seams so now this is my door face the, for the back the inner lining for the back i have placed the first lining on the lace so now i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance of the inner lining after doing that i will come back and show you guys now i am done closing my zipper allowance i am done ironing the zipper allowance of the main lace i will now place the front on the back and i will take my body measurement so this same thing is what i also did on my this is what i also did on my lining like i closed the zipper allowance of my lining after taking my measurements on this main fabric i'll also repeat the same thing on my lining then i'll go ahead and shave and make sure that the measurements that you use on your main fabric is also the same measurements you used on the lining so this one is the lining you can see what i have and i've closed the zipper allowance so i'll place this one on top I'll place this one on top then I'll take my hip measurement divided by two my waist measurements and then my knee line measurement then I'll go ahead and join after joining them I will iron and I'll show you guys what it looks like I am done joining and I'm done ironing that is I am done shaping my skirts and I've also did the same thing. I also did the same thing on the lining. You can see my lining here. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to give our skirt a slit at the waist. Like you're going to slash it around the waistline. Now what you are going to do is that if you're, it depends on your client. So from the center, find the nipple to nipple, the dart line. You can see I found the center of that skirt and from there, I came down by 5 inches. If you want, you can even come down by 6 inches. But have it in mind that the corset or the bustier you will make must be an inbuilt corset or inbuilt bustier. So I came down by 5 inches and I slashed it. Find the center of your skirt and from there, mark your dart line towards the left hand side towards the left hand side of that skirt then after slashing it by five inches i'll go ahead and pin it round i'll pin the fabric and the lining around after pinning it i'll open up the zipper allowance at the back and this is the reason why i like closing my zipper allowance before shaping it makes things easy now what i'm going to do is that i will place my lining i've also opened the zipper allowance for my lining i'll place my lining make sure that the both side seams are meeting each other you can see the side seams they are facing each other i'll repeat the same thing on the other side then i will pin it according to the way i'll join it make sure that you pin according according to how you want to join that is what you are going to do now you will close the waist you will close this slit and you will close your zipper allowance area and that is it for this skirt so at the end of the day this is what we have after closing now you can see that i did not slash my lining at first it makes it easy so after turning that slit you can now go ahead and slash your lining it makes it very easy then i'll go ahead and turn out after turning this out you take your time to iron very very well you take your time to iron this skirt very well especially that waist area 
Now, after turning out, you use your scissors to push out the pointy parts of the skirt. Use your scissors to push out the pointy parts. Then after pushing it out, you go and iron. So after ironing, we can now come back and close the zipper allowance. So the zipper allowance is the only area that will have a French seam. The other ones will have normal inseam finishing. So that when you fold your skirts like this, the side seam will not be showing. So it has to be very neat. The next thing that I'm going to do right now is to close my zipper allowance. I'll just go ahead and close my zipper allowance and now this is the top but we'll, we will teach the top in the next tutorial and this top i think it will take more time than the skirt so see you guys in my next video do not forget to click on notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload bye